Hi everybody, welcome to this session. Today's topic is layers of atmosphere. So once more welcome to this session. So we will start. Atmosphere. The planet Earth is surrounded by a thick envelope of air called atmosphere. The planet Earth is surrounded by a thick envelope. The planet Earth is surrounded by a thick envelope. A thick envelope of air. That is called atmosphere. The atmosphere is the thickest near the Earth's surface. The atmosphere is the thickest near Earth's surface. Atmosphere is the thickest, and the atmosphere is divided into five layers. They are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, exosphere. I repeat, the air, the atmosphere. is divided into five layers troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere exosphere and we will see how much thickness how much is the thickness for atmosphere the atmosphere thickness keep on decreasing with height and it eventually merges with space as we go up the thickness of atmosphere keep on decreasing it doesn't increase the as we go up the atmosphere thickness keep on decreasing and eventually it merges with space it joins with space okay when as we go up the earth's thickness a uh, thickness of atmosphere keep on decreasing and it eventually merges with space if we go to space without a space suit what will happen you know uh, our blood will start to burn in space if 37 degree celsius is there that will start to burn so 37 degree or 39 degree is the normal human temperature so in that temperature the blood and blood and all will start to boil and it will come like a bubble outside and talking about the first layer of atmosphere that is troposphere <coughs> troposphere is the lowest layer of earth's atmosphere troposphere is the lowest it's the lowest layer of atmosphere it is bound by stratosphere on the top and on bottom by surface of earth troposphere down is <coughs> surface of earth and troposphere up is stratosphere which is the second layer of atmosphere and troposphere is the lowest layer in upon uh, below of troposphere there is earth surface and above there is stratosphere which is the layer of atmosphere and the talking about second layer of atmosphere that is <coughs> that is stratosphere stratosphere is the second layer of the atmosphere as you go upward stratosphere is the second layer stratosphere is the second layer as you go upward it is bound by troposphere below and mesosphere above below of stratosphere there is troposphere and above the stratosphere there is mesosphere most aircraft aircraft fly in this layer as it is good stable when uh, most of the aircraft fly in this way they fly in this layer not full aircraft only some aircraft when they want a nice ride so i attended a quiz there one question came in which layer do the aeroplanes fly i ticked the stratosphere but it was wrong the correct answer was troposphere and they were telling that the troposphere tropo, uh, troposphere is a layer where the plane go aeroplane go and if they want a smooth ride they will go through stratosphere that's all and every time the aircraft will not fly through stratosphere gyms stratosphere is the important as it contains ozone gas which absorbs harmful ultraviolet of uh, ultraviolet rays of the sun the stratosphere is a very important layer stratosphere there is ozone in stratosphere that absorbs the harmful ultraviolet rays of sun when ultraviolet rays coming from our, the sun ozone will pick uh, pick up it and it will not send to the 
earth surface so if there was no ozone we will be like a burn we will get too hot we will not burn we will get we will be in too hot there will be more uh, degree celsius than normal <coughs> and the third layer of atmosphere that is mesosphere the mesosphere starts about 50 km above the ground and goes all the way up to 85 km as we go from our ground to up when we go 50 km up from the surface of the earth we will reach mesosphere and it continues up to 85 km the layer below is called stratosphere below of the mesosphere there is stratosphere and the above there is thermosphere there is a secret about thermosphere i will tell you and that's all that's all yes so i will repeat uh, once again about mesosphere it starts about 50 km and it goes up to 85 km the layer 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 below the it's is stratosphere and above it, there is thermosphere and the next layer is thermosphere there is a fourth layer thermosphere is a layer of atmosphere directly above mesosphere and directly below the exosphere above there is sorry above the mesosphere there is thermosphere and below the exosphere there is thermosphere so thermosphere above there is exosphere and thermosphere below there is what below there is mesosphere and within this layer ultraviolet radiation causes that is not needed space shuttle orbit in thermosphere to maintain a stable orientation and orbit the space shuttle do you know the space shuttle Uh, there will be a cylinder at the center and two rock two rocket like things at the side of that cylinder up on the up of the cylinder there will be space shuttle it is like a plane and the rocket will launch it will go all the way to space and the two rocket things will uh, go away and the cylinder also will go away but inside of the space shuttle it's like a plane fixed to that cylinder when the cylinder will go there is there will be a thing uh, the space shuttle will uh, orbit the earth and uh, orbit and the payload bay there is a payload bay at the cent- uh, up of that up of the space shuttle and that will open when they are in a space and the cylinder and the two rocket like things will fall to the earth so i will be doing a video about ozone and this uh, space shuttle so we will continue space shuttle orbit in thermosphere to maintain a stable orientation and orbit <coughs> space shuttle orbit in this layer in thermosphere the space shuttle will orbit and maintain a stable orientation and orbit the secret i told you is thermosphere is the hottest layer thermosphere is the hot, hottest layer in the name only there is thermo thermo means hot and sphere sphere you know round and thermo thermosphere so thermo means only hot so it is the hottest layer <coughs> it is the hottest layer and the last i mean fifth layer that is exosphere exosphere is the outermost layer of earth's atmosphere whereas the atmosphere thins out and merges with space exosphere is the outermost layer of earth's atmosphere it is the outermost i mean it's the last layer and it uh, when it continues up to fi- uh, from 500 km to 10000 km double of there if we go 500 km up we will reach the exosphere and 10000 km up to 10000 km it will go about 10000 km and if you go uh, above the 10000 km you will go you will be in the space but the thing is i told you first in the space 37 in 37 degrees celsius our blood and everything will start to burn our tongue everything and 
the exosphere helps in long distance communication through radio mobile etc the exosphere helps us to communicate with mobile or radiation in a long distance so there no exosphere no radio mobile no radio and mobile so exosphere is the layer which helps us to helps us to communicate with others who are who are there in long distance and some 10 km or 15 km or 1000 km or 1 lakh km everywhere we can call now so that is because of exosphere because exosphere helps in that for uh, long distance communication and we will see the kilometers between the layers and this is that earth earth has 6400 km radius that uh, you leave it and troposphere 0 to 10 km there, there is troposphere troposphere and 10 to 50 km there is stratosphere and 50 to 85 km there is mesosphere and 85 to 500 km there is thermosphere and 500 to 10000 km there is exosphere and if we go above that we will eventually merge with space so i will repeat again earth's radius is 6400 km and 0 to 10 km it is troposphere uh, 10 to 50 km is stratosphere uh, 50 to 85 km is mesosphere 85 to 100 km is thermosphere and 500 to 10000 km there is exosphere and if you go above the 10000 km you will be you will go to the space and you will merge with the space and the exosphere is double of earth 500 to 10000 km it's very long right it's like approximately double of earth you can you th- imagine how the uh, how the scientist or the who, the people who have gone to space they have to pass how much kilometer they have to pass 10000 km and it's very nice so it will take more days to reach at the space okay that's all for today's session and see you in the next session like space shuttle or ozone or skeletal system or muscular system anything it may be see you in the next amazing and wonderful session till that bye